Welcome back to Guna Collects. Today I've got 500 pounds worth of two pounds to come through from the NatWest Recycle of a Ball, dated the 4th of the 10th, 23. Quite an old bag, and they're sealed bags, so there we go. Quick look around the bag. Without any further ado, I'll open it. Hmm. I can't believe I got this bag. October. October last year. How long has this been sealed? October. November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. This is eight months old, this bag. Eight months. Oops. Let's have a look here at the bag. Because we know what we want. That'd be a miracle, I think. Yeah, let's have a look at the book. We want the two Commonwealths, yeah, which I think is Northern Ireland and Wales. I think it's Northern Ireland and Wales, yeah, it is. And we want the Beijing to London Andover. Can't believe I haven't got one of them. And then that's it. We've got everything up to the uh, Great Fire of London. It's been a long time waiting for this. So we'll. Uh, Without any further ado, let's put the cannon right. Okay, and we'll see where we go with this. Hopefully, to finish in the book would be nice. Uh, let's have a look here, make sure we've got it focused. Uh, that's better. Yeah, that's it. There we go then, let's have a look, see what we got. Oh, there you go, that's a nice start, isn't it? That rubby burns, isn't it? Yeah, I think that's rubby burns. You know, glasses usually open, put them up. Let's have a look, yeah, rubby burns, there we go. That's a good start, isn't it? I think so, anyway. One of the best starts we've had, but, Well, uh, we're an old fire and that, see where we go. <laughs> Thanks, bang. There's our next one, which is the gunpowder plot. There we go, gunpowder plot. And our third commemorative is Shakespeare's Comedies. What's the numbers there? Shakespeare's Comedies, no rotation error. Have a look there, it's quite good. And the edge inscription is the whole world. No. I'm reading that wrong. Let's get it right. Up. What? What does it say? Oh the world's a stage. Yeah, I should have known that's what it was. That's it, not done. Mm. Yep. There's our next one which is uh, the centenary of the First World War, 100 years since. Oh, nice. That's a clean, clean one. Is that for king and country? It is. That's very clean. Looks like it's not been used straight out of the uh, press into the bag. And then we get another one, Charles Dickens. Interesting. Something will turn up. Yeah. 
and then we've got the uh, the uh, end of the se Second World War at St Paul's. Yeah. Very interesting. Very nice. Let's keep it going. Right, what's next? Another Diggins. The Dickens, you say. That's got a nasty scratch on there. I suppose you can see that. I don't think you can, it's a very nasty scratch. Anyway, as they say, so it will turn up. And that's, that's that. First bust. That's quite amazing. Let's hope it's only one. There's the centenary of the First World War. For King and Country, yeah. For <laughs> oh yes, there you go. It's got a scratch right or something across it, is it? No, it's not a scratch, it's a smudge. Right, let's see. Is it what I think it is? No, it's not an error, but it's a... <sighs> yeah. A battleship in the first world war. Yes. See where we go with this. There's a possibility that we could find something interesting. Really, really interesting. It's been a long time sitting there with eight months. This bag's been sealed. Let's hope it's sealed. Eight. There we go. Brunel's achievements. The artist at Paddington Station. So many irons in the fire. That's that one. It's nice. That's that one. Look at that, Magna Carta. In good, pristine nick as well. Yeah, Magna Carta. <whistles> Lovely jubbly. And what does it say on here? Can't remember what it's supposed to say on there. Oh, what a 
that's pristine, that is. That's going down there. Yeah, so. No, that's good. That's a halfway bag we're on now. This will be halfway through the hunt. Four bus we've had so far in this lot, and that was the 13th bag, so let's see how it goes. Hope there's no more. Let's hope there's a few more surprises. Looks like there's another bus, it is. Oh dear. That's the trouble with these things, they seem to go downhill after you've had a bit good run. But then, nothing's going to change because whatever's in the bag is in the bag. It's been there for eight months. So, oh, there you go. Florence Nightingale. Very good. Marconi. Yeah, Marconi across the sea. Oh, I know that's nothing. So. Interesting. Very interesting. Makes me think some bags are all standing in a corner. They've been there for months and they contain all the good coins. There's another centaine of the First World War. Yeah. That's why we can't find any. They've been stashed. There we go. Shakespeare's histories. The whole world's a stage, yep. I need to move that out. Put that there, whoops. Put that there, put that there too. Right. So, on we go. Now I know there's one in here, because I've just seen it. A commemorative. The gunpowder plot. There you go. Aye, aye. Two pound, that's right. Isn't it? Okay. I've already had the gunpowder plot. Where is it? Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. And on we go. Yeah. Another centenary of the First World War, 100 years gone. Mm, there we go, another end of the Second World War, St. Paul's. There's plenty coming. Not the right one. Not getting the uh, the favoured ones. I don't expect to anyway. I mean, like, you can't have everything, boy. But you've got some nice coins there. There you go. There's the set. That is Shakespeare's tragedies. Very good. What does it say? What is a piece of work? Is a man. That's 
correct. There we go. So that's the first time in a long time I've had three, three Shakespeare's, one of each. That's that. Six to go with this one. Ah. Oh, look, there's Mr. Darwin. Charles Darwin. Lovely, jubbly. Absolutely. Getting plenty of different ones. It's been quite a good two pound, hasn't it, if I do say so myself. That is uh, Centennial of the First World War for King and Country. Yep. A lot of them. A lot of them. Oh, there. Right, we're on the last five now. Still a chance of getting something a bit more. No. Oh, nasty bust. There's a uh, terrific, terrific, Mr. Terrific, the nameless steam engine. Uh -huh. And there's another centenary of the First World War for King and Country. Interesting. And that's the end of that one. Three to go. This is a good one. I've got nothing for the book so far. London, uh, Beijing to London would be nice. Yeah, let's go. We've got another tragedies. Shakespeare's tragedies. It should read. What's a piece of work is a man? Look at that, another Shakespeare's histories, which should uh, read. The Hollow Crown, that's right. And that's that. Last two then, can I get one? Got a couple of keepers there that I'd like to keep. I'd like to have more than a couple, but especially one that's for the book. That my dear boy, that's a bust. Oh dear. So, last band. Yep, last bag. It ain't been a bad one, that's for sure. There we go. Brunel's uh, poor achievements. The uh, arches at Paddington. And nothing. Oh, there you go. Another Brunel's achievements. Yeah. And that. Is that right? I'm gonna go off the side to see if there's any errors. Okay, I found no no errors, as in thingy, but uh, this I found this double die 2010. If you can see it there, and Elizabeth has been stamped twice on there. Take it out a bit, you should be able to see that. If not, trust me, it's a double die. And then I found this thing that's been mullet for some reason. Really chopped on the edge. That was peculiar. I'm hoping that'll go back through the machine because it's a, a 
bit of a mess. Anyway, that's that. Right, so I've got them. I've got one double die. I've got uh, Santina of the Navy. I've got Megan the Carter and I've got Robbie Burns. They're the best ones. I mean, obviously I've got the other things there, but uh, they're not of any interest to me, really. Not plenty of them. So, well, all I'm gonna say now is uh, leave a comment, hit the like button, smash the subscribe button and ring the bell if you haven't already done so. And uh, if you have already done so, I'm very, very grateful and I thank you very much for subscribing. And there's just one more thing to say and that is stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.